Um, Alex. <laughs> Al Cal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Freebird. We have the Freebird guys back. Uh, sorry, I had a brain fart. Uh, but now we're going to come back. We're in Washington, D.C. And uh, we're going to bring it out on stage. Uh, he's just a handsome little devil. Uh, and he plays God 2.0 on Supernatural. And his name is Alexander Cowper! Looks like someone peed on your head. Um, um, I was wondering if maybe you got compared. It was Misha, calm down. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe you got compared to like James Marsters or Pete Davidson. Get a lot of Pete Davidson vibes, which I'm not gonna lie, Drink not down with. <laughs> the king of Staten nowhere for me. Um, <laughs> Although I was like, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, that guy's done so well for himself, though. Look at him. SNL, he's dated a Kardashian, you know? He's just checking boxes, man. It's crazy. I got Sid Vicious today. That was cooler. Uh, but also, a little bit of a tragic ending for that man. Here's a tip. Don't kill your girlfriend. Uh, is there a question? <laughs> yeah, I was asking if you got compared to other celebrities. Yes, it's, it sucks. Uh, my other favorite one, they're like, sometimes, you know, they'll see a photo and they'll be like, oh, you remind me of Leonardo DiCaprio, which is yeah. a fantastic compliment. But I'm like, I have none of the money, none of the awards, no Titanic vibes. Uh, just me, unfortunately. Hello. Hi. What's your sign say? You 
want to find out what my sign says? Well, you're holding a huge ass sign. <laughs> Misha, don't tell Tim, suck it apples. <laughs> Yo, also, you can't carry a giant sign and be like, don't notice my sign. Am I getting better or worse, be honest? We're gonna find out. <laughs> Shit. I got to talk to you about Matt, and I got to talk to you about Misha. So I had to think of a really good question this time. All right? I put a lot of thought into this. We're all waiting. <laughs> what would you do for a claw night bar? <laughs> Feel good about yourself? You feel, you feel good? You want to come up and take a bow or what? Well, now you have to. Tell you what, I'll give you a Klondike bar. Hi! Hi, um, I'm Lana. Nice to meet you. Um, so, this is my first time ever. So. How do you feel? Nervous and stressed. Well, don't be nervous. You can't do worse than that. It's you! I'm not Jared or Jensen, it's fine, it's just me. <laughs> um, so I kind of have an interesting question for you. Um, what would you do for a Okay, so what is your favorite and least favorite word, and would you explain why that is? <sighs> and Sid, have you ever seen the show called Inside the Actor's Studio? Yes, I believe so. I think they asked that. Are they like, what would you like to hear when, when you get to heaven to hear God say? No. You know? No, it's just a word I do. Oh. Well, I'm God, so it's easy. Um, uh, what's my least favorite word? I don't know. Do you go with one that like sounds really bad, like moist? Uh, you just feel it in your bones, you know? It doesn't really matter to me. Mine is almost. But... Almost? Is your least favorite? Yes. That's, I get that. There's uh, No one likes coming in second place, you know? Um... For today, I'll go with moist. Yeah. Just brings me, it's not a great feeling, you know? <laughs> what would be my favorite word? I don't know. Klondike bars. Hello. <laughs> uh, you know, just hanging out in front of all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering, how did your life change um, after you got a role? Well, here I am, standing in front of all of you. Sitting. Um, that was a pretty substantial change. Because uh, I never heard of you until now. <laughs> tough crowd. Tough crowd today, guys. Uh, to be fair, though, the ball's on you to wait in line for a question, only to come up to me and say, I've never heard of you. Technically, I was in line for the person before you, and then it kind of just <laughs> All right, how about this? What were you going to ask David? I was going to ask him if he had ever been to Boston, because that's where I'm from. Fuck Boston. <laughs> I don't mean that at all. I've never been to Boston. I'm sure it's lovely. Uh, you don't have the mic now. You're done. Hello. Sorry? Uh, I'm Ravina, and this is my first con. Welcome! Thank you. Sorry for the hostile crowd here, I don't know. Uh, my question is, if you could spend a day with Jack, what would you do and where would you take him? Hmm, that is a good question. Um, I feel like... I feel like Jack should have got some time to be a kid, you know? So, I really like the episode where... Sounds funny. I really like the episode where Jack was dying. Um, but I really like the episode where Dean kind of took him out to do like, you know, do some, do some things before he passed away. So I got to drive the Impala, 
you know, we got to go, I think we would have gone fishing, but you know, that was really fun. Uh, I'd love to take Jack go-karting, I think it would be fun. <laughs> I think the idea of Jack worrying around, like, going really fast around a track and just having a good time and being a kid would be really nice, you know? Because he didn't really have much time to be a kid. They were kind of like, you know, just gave him a knife and sent him on his way. Which you should not do with your children. Also, apologies to the children here today about the swearing. Oh god, I see you in line. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Hello. So, my name is Abby, and I was just wondering, who do you look up to? Who do you look up to, I guess, would be more so for me. My parents, I suppose. That is so nice. That is so nice. Um, that's a great answer. Uh, uh, I guess my, my dad. My dad's a really he's a good, good man, you know? Uh, not my fake dad, sorry. Uh, my three television dads. Um, yeah, that's not an exciting answer, but yeah, my dad. He probably wouldn't be happy with me saying, fuck Boston. He'd be like, did you really have to say that? And I'll be like, ah, I'm not sorry. Again, I do not hate Boston. I've never been there. I love all your movies. I love The Departed. You know, I love all the crime that happens there. It's like, any movie that's set in Boston, I'll watch it, you know? I really want to go there. I want to hang out with Ben Affleck. I want to eat Dunkin' Donuts. I want to go to a Patriots game. I'm sorry, y'all. The Commanders? Yeah, really. You guys can't be happy about it either, okay? Hello. Hello, my name's Marnie. I've asked this question three times already, so three minutes. So when you start a new job, Typically, relationships are already built, and everybody's got their group and whatnot. When you started the show, was there something that happened, or a time frame, or whatnot, that you started feeling like part of the family? Um, well, the first, the first convention I went to was in San Francisco, and uh, it's strange now, I guess, this many years later, but like, I, I came out to a room similar to this, and uh, yeah, I was just, I was blown away. I'm, I'm constantly, constantly amazed by how many people love this show and uh, the fact that we get to do this and entertain you guys and make connections and, and have these experiences is, is truly uh, really special and something I never thought I'd have in my life. So I'd say that. And then I'm also, I've been really lucky now that getting to work with all these people that, you know, I, I do have like a great friends now that I have literally because of this show. So I guess it wasn't a snap, but uh, yeah, I'm just very, very thankful for the shenanigans that this has turned into. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Like for me, we were walking around today and we we're walking around like the vendor's room and I was just, I still can't believe this is real. You know? Like right now I'm having like, oh, I'm in disbelief, this is happening. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Jade, and this is me and my friend's first con. I saw you guys earlier, you were very excited. <laughs> How are you feeling, you good? Uh, yeah, I'm a lot better than I was earlier. I was so just excited earlier, and it was amazing meeting you. And you were you were very cute. It was very sweet. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. And so last night, me and my friends kind of had this surreal moment that like we made it because we were here, and it was just incredible. And so my question for you was: Have what was the moment in your career that you knew you made it? Oh, um, I, I got to be honest. I still feel like I haven't. You know, uh, I definitely don't feel like I've arrived in any capacity. Uh, it's weird, as the years go by, you think you'll feel differently, but uh, it still feels like to me like I'm just getting started, you know? Uh, but I mean, for me, I used to work at a restaurant. Uh, I used to wash dishes. So for me, any time that I 
haven't had to go back to work a job that's not in my profession to me is a, is a huge, huge win. And uh, the fact that I get to work in my chosen field is really incredible. So I guess that's a form of, for me, making it, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, so we all obviously know you as Jack from Supernatural. That makes sense. Right. So if you weren't Jack from Supernatural, which character would you be and why? I was going to say, I'll be, I'd be washing dishes. Um, uh, I would have loved to have played Lucifer. Yeah, I, I think working with Mark Pellegrino was fantastic, and his performances every day were... I got, as soon as I saw him on the call sheet, I got excited to work with the guy. Um, he's just such a fantastic actor. Um, so I think playing Lucifer would be really fun. He's always stirring up drama, you know? He's always making fun of people, you know? I just feel like that'd be really fun. I got like a brief moment of it when I got to play Belfagor, but it only lasted like three episodes and then they took away my sunglasses and here we are. <laughs> yeah, Lucifer, Lucifer would be really fun. Shout out Pellegrino. Hello. Hello. I was wondering, is there anything you, you can do, like, with your fingers or your legs, your body, anything like that? Like, I can do like, like, I call them zombie things. You know, like, knock my knuckles. I have to reiterate, it's not that kind of show. <laughs> nope. I mean, unless you guys got, like, a handful of ones or whatever, then we'll talk. Um, <laughs> No, there is not. Uh, I'm really not flexible. Uh, I don't have any cool talent. Do you have Do you have something you can do? Is that what? Yeah, I can lock the joints in my fingers and I call them zombie hands. Zombie hands, that's nice. You would have been great on the show. We could have used you. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, not very flexible. No. Can't do any pole tricks, you know, it's just... Yeah, sorry. We love you, broken, broken you. Hi. Hi, Alex. I'm Larissa. I'm a first timer, and I'm from Germany. Is this we your first? No, it's your first time here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we met in May. I no, I remember. I remember we did the photo. And yeah. uh, we had a really nice talk at the come uh, at the panel back then. And it's my birthday today. What? Happy birthday. Thank you so much. And How do you feel? This convention was, was incredibly awesome. Do you have any wisdom you'd like to share with the crowd? Wisdom? <laughs> wisdom? What's that? I don't know. I, I would just like to say something else. Maybe you remember me. Uh, we talked about the uh, panel from Jared and Jensen, and I, and I would just absolutely love to ask the last question with them. Oh. Do you remember it? Yeah, I can't help you with that. Yeah, you know? I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, my question this time is, uh, if you could play a character in a video game, which would you, be, would you like to be in? Oh, like, as an actor? Uh, I really love the Uncharted series. Um, those games are so good, I, I couldn't even believe it. I played the, the most recent one and I was just blown away by how good it was. What about Last of Us? Haven't played Last of Us. Um, right now I'm playing Zelda. That one's really good. Uh, but yeah, Uncharted, it's so much fun. It's like you're Indiana Jones, you know? You know how cool that would be? But realistically, if I was Indiana Jones, I would mess up so fast, you know? I'd get shot, like, right away, so. Thanks, hello. Hi, um, so real quick, I love the Draco Malfoy vibe. <laughs> what up, Slytherin people? That is, a, that is a surprising amount, okay, okay. I heard, I heard a rumor on Twitter that you're going to be in the boys' spin-off, the college one. Is that true? Or... What? I don't know if it's true or not. I just heard it on Twitter. So I thought I'd ask. Um, yeah. Breaking news. What? No, I wish he would have. That would have been cool. <laughs> no, I, I auditioned for it like anything else, you know? Yay. Thanks. Hi, I'm 
Charlie. This is my first con. And <laughs> you having fun, Charlie? Yes, I'm having a lot. Oh, good. Oh, man. I was wondering, you know on the show, when Jack attained God status, and he, he just kind of said, all right, bye. Yeah. Yeah, he said bye. I was wondering, two things. Do you agree with what Jack did? And also, if you were God, they, anything you want, what would you do? Um, do I agree with Jack did by like going to heaven or like the laissez-faire of it or what? Do you agree with like, have fun, bye. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing with, with Chuck was that he was like a meddling god, right? He was always trying to mess up the boys and, you know, ruin their lives. Whereas Jack, I think, was happier being peaceful and letting what happened happened. Um, I know, why wasn't I there for the barb? I'm sorry, uh, I don't know what Jack was doing. <laughs> um, what would I do? You know, there's a lot of things I'd like to do. You know, world hunger, uh, everybody gets a puppy. Puppies! What else? How about go-karts and puppies? Uh, I don't know, that sounds fun. Uh, there's responsible things Jack, aka God, should be doing, you know? Maybe giving you guys some health care. That'd be cool. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fantastic? You're like, done. Can't help you. Sorry. Anyways, enjoy. Hello. Hi. Um, Again, I am sorry about the cursing. Not sorry. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unbothered, okay. Um, my question is, what is your favorite make and model of a car? Ooh. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a car guy. Uh, you want to hear? You want to hear my idea of a cool car? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A uh, Honda Civic. <laughs> Just wait till you turn sixteen. You know they're practical. They're good on gas. They're reliable. But that's not really a fun answer, is it? That's more of like I'm getting really old. Is the answer? Um. Hmm. I really like. I like the old Range Rovers. You know what those are? Yeah. I like the big ones that look like, like you could go on a safari with them, you know? It, uh, what's it, the Dodge Challenger? Those look fun. But I think I'd probably crash it. So, when you're 16, what are you gonna get? <laughs> shh, 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 quiet over there, Mom. Um, yeah, probably Dodge Challenger. Woo! All right, drive safe, my friend. Drive safe. Yeah, yeah. And again, sorry about the person. Hi. Hello. Um, so my question is, with um, you know, video games becoming more advanced, we see a lot of actors in video games, like Rami Malek and Until Dawn, or oh. Jesse Williams in Detroit Become Human. So my question is, if you ever were given the opportunity to have your likeness or emotion captured in a video game, would you do it? Oh, 100%. Yeah, the video games have gotten so good. Like, that Uncharted game was like better than half the movies I saw that year. Um, yeah, I would absolutely love that. That'd be so cool. Put me in Grand Theft Auto, you know? There's a fun game you're not ready for. You can just learn to drive by playing Grand Theft Auto. And learning some other stuff that we don't want to talk about here. But yeah, why? Are you making a video game? I, no, I would like to- Damn it! I know, I would like to be in one. I really thought this was my chance. I agree. Hello. Hi, um, I'm Audrey, and this is my mom's first con. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> um, so, besides Supernatural, one of our favorite shows is Psych, and you are oh, nice. here in the second episode, uh, very young, as a spelling bee contestant. Um, and I was just wondering what made you want to be an actor, what got you into it, and yeah, what inspired you? Um, well, I started doing commercials when I was younger. Uh, you know what's better than, you know, having a paper route? Doing commercials. <laughs> uh, so it kind of became like a, a sometimes job for me. Uh, and then I started really getting into movies. Uh, and when I was 16 and very bored, I started, remember the video store, guys? Ah, uh, the oasis of the video store. Here's a question. Who here has never been to a video store because you're born? Oh my god. Blockbuster. Yeah! 
There's what? Oh yeah, I heard about this, yeah. I like how like also if you're trying to get like a spicy title that you maybe weren't old enough to see, you kind of had to be real casual about it. Like you were buying drugs. <laughs> you're like, it's rated R, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna rent this. I'm just a big cool guy, you know, like, I watch movies like this all the time. Um, yeah, I started seeing movies that I really cared about and then, uh, you know, that was pretty delusional of me to think that I could do this as a profession, but here we are. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Alex. Hi. Um, so you starred in the Edge of Seventeen with Jimmy Seinfeld. Just say I starred in it as a little bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> I don't know, I'll take that Marvel check, like that. <laughs> um, I got no idea. Who do you think I should be? I feel like a good Spider-Man. Nah. Or... <laughs> Bane. <laughs> I just have to put on like 200 pounds. <laughs> oh, the Marvel DC thing. Okay, okay, okay. It has to be Marvel? And there we go. The Flash. Oh, The Flash. Hey, you know who's having a great time right now? <laughs> you guys actually should watch out on the streets tonight. He might be around. I will not say anything more about that. Um, it's just so much crime. Sorry. It's just so much crime. Um, <laughs> sure, I'll be The Flash. You know, one day I'll be in Berlin. Then I'll be in Tokyo. Then I'll be in DC, breaking all the laws. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, so we all if you could commit one crime, what would it be? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Come on, have some fun with it. <laughs> Burglary. Sure. Rob a bank. I'd steal the Impala. <laughs> okay. I mean, Grand Theft Auto. Love it. So we all know what Jack's favorite snack is, nougat. What's your favorite snack? Not nougat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to keep some bit of my health uh, for like a little bit longer. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your least favorite snack? Nougat. <laughs> I was like, what if I just let this one crash? How will that go? Poorly. Okay, good. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Julia. This is my first convention. A lot of first timers. What do you think? What do you think? Be honest. It's, it's amazing. You making Absolutely. line friends? Pardon? You making line friends? I'm, I'm making friends. That good. Way. Everybody's nice. It's wonderful. Um, so I know, uh, even though I haven't been to one of these, I've seen a lot of YouTubes over the years of, of, of you up there. Uh, Are we better or worse looking in person? Be honest. <laughs> You are better looking. Yes. By far. <laughs> Absolutely no question. Gorgeous, all of you. Um, okay, so. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Keep going, keep going. So, uh, my question is um, I, I, I know from watching YouTube that there are lots of opportunistic mischief on the set of Supernatural. What? No. <laughs> Well, a lot of shenanigans, I guess, and then that you were the victim of a lot of that. And there was a question from a, a con that I watched. What they, somebody asked Jensen, how do you get any work done? And his a opinion, valid question. Uh, his opinion was that he didn't think they'd do the work as well without the shenanigans. I wondered how you felt about that. I agree, I agree. Um, as much as I loved being dogpiled by several grown men, and injuring my ribs, as much as that was so much fun. Yeah, that hurt, that hurt. Um, no, I mean, you yeah, know, it, it was really nice that we had like a light working environment. Don't get me wrong, like we all take our job seriously and that's important. But at the same time, if you can't have a laugh at yourself, then what are we, what's the point of anything, you know? So it was great because it kept the crew laughing, it kept me in pain. And, uh, you know, they did manage to make 15 se you know, seasons of television, so they must have done something right. 
However, I would not suggest doing what they do at your job. <laughs> what is your job? I'm a high school teacher. <laughs> Keep your hands off the kids, that's all I'll say. Not at a, no, you just... <laughs> Stop it. This is not Misha's panel. There would be no perversion. Not true. Hi. I, uh, so, first time con ever. And yes, she's right. You do look better in person. Woo! Um, Which sucks because it means I look terrible on television. <laughs> the thing that's seen by millions of people. You look good on television. You just look better in person. I'm starting to feel like you guys are seeing my insecurities here. You know, and I, every, every panel is going to start with Alex, you look fine. Anyways, here's my question. Continuously. Yep, still in therapy. Anyways. Have you ever gotten your revenge on any of the cast members on pranking them? Um, listen, I'll, I'll show you my revenge. I'm here right now. <laughs> I got to work on a fantastic television show, and I got to meet amazing people. So, uh, what is it? The best revenge is success? The other best revenge is being younger than everyone. Don't worry, Misha's gonna be coming up here soon, hobbling away, you know? He already did that. I don't know if you guys know this, but do you guys remember when they ran a marathon? Mm -hmm. Misha was like so hobbled after for like almost a year. I felt awful, um, but also a little funny. Thank you. Love you. Thanks, welcome. Hello. Listen, I haven't peed myself in several weeks now. Um, so I'm pretty proud of me, first and foremost. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I really like the one where it's in the bloopers, but uh, me and Ruth are there. Shout out Ruth. Uh, but I'm like dying. I'm supposed to be very sick in bed. And I'm like laid out. And then. Jared decides that, you know, it's time for him to do riff a palooza. Uh, and yeah, he just starts going off, but the camera's on me, but I'm also supposed to be like near death. But then of course the blanket's like going like this, like Because I'm like supposed to be near death, but I've got a giant grin on my face. Uh, that one got me for sure. But the problem was that the director He's letting Jared just talk and talk and talk, and I'm laughing. And then he sees me laughing, and he goes, he's like, he's like hey, you're, you're, you're laughing. I'm like, yes, like, what do you want? He's like, you're blowing the take. I'm like, I'm like, talk to the tall guy. Like, <laughs> see the guy with the hair? He's the problem, not me. And no urine happened that day. Have you ever peed yourself from laughing? <laughs> that was incriminating, thank you. Hello. Uh, what opinions or feelings did you have on Jack's character uh, when you first joined the show? Uh, what personal flair did you give I was like, I get to be on TV? <laughs> that was my personal opinion. Um, no, I mean, you're, you're doing what the writers want, and it's some mix of you and the character and the writing and what you're getting from the other actors. Uh, so I don't know, there's, there's lots of me in, in Jack. Don't. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna be a twinning style situation here. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's so hard to say. Like, for me what's interesting is like when I watch uh, you know, like Jared or Jensen play their characters and stuff, you know, I really, there's so much of us in those characters and yeah, what I love about Jack was that, I don't know, I got to be nice all the time for the most part and I don't know, his, his kindness I really, I really took. Um, 
It's 2022, guys. Let's all be kind to each other, you know? Unless someone's really mean to you, then you should definitely push back, you know? Hello. Hello. Hello, Alex. Hi, again. I'm all right, I guess. How are you? I mean, I'm, I'm good. Am I all right? Are you doing okay? All right, that's good to hear. All right, so I got a question. You know, when you started Supernatural, you did your first scene ever. I mean, that scene was just insane. I mean, you were basically butt naked in front of the damn camera. Excuse my language. But, I mean, how did you feel about that? I felt exposed. Um, I was quite nervous. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but taking your clothes off in front of strangers is uncomfortable. <laughs> I will not be a stripper. <laughs> unless, you know, unless this job goes south and, you know, you'll see me spinning around a pole. Um, yeah, no, uh, I was definitely very nervous. The problem was that you're meeting like a hundred people for the first time ever, but like I'm doing it in like a little robe, you know? It's like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. It's like, it's like, dude, we can kind of see your junk, you know? <laughs> Actually, they were quite kind. They were very kind and professional when I first started working with them. It's when I kept working with them that they became very unprofessional. A slow and very fast decline. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was good. Then I got their first episode again, and they're like, anyways, uh, you're naked again, um, but now you're walking around the road barefoot. You're gonna order some takeout. Uh, and once again, no clothes, so. It's a weird job, isn't it? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Breathe, you got this. Okay, so I like picked up a talking point for you because I knew it was going to be really hard to talk to you. So um, my talking point is your Instagram post about the blonde bimbo summer that I mentioned earlier. Um, Blonde Bimbo Summer, yes, I'm currently living it, yeah. Yes, you said you try to be as young and dumb as possible. Yes. So, as someone that's young and... Hopefully not dumb. Not, no, I have moments. Okay, we all, we all do. We all do, right? Yeah. yeah. So, like, do you have any advice for, like, being, like, the best, I guess, you would say, Bimbo possible? <laughs> Do I have advice on uh, how to be blonde and dumb? Is that what you're asking me? What do you think of me? Instagram's real life? No, like, like okay. your, your personality and everything is great. Like, so like meeting people like you and doing things. I'm really struggling to find the question. Um, so it's okay, don't worry. Uh, I don't have any advice other than, you know, it's summer. You should be having a good time. You should go to a supernatural convention. You should jump in a lake or something. Uh, winter is coming, guys, and it's gonna suck. So, live it up now. Get some vitamin D. Um, read a book. Keep reading. I don't know. Is that helpful? Yeah. I wish I had a better answer to your question. I, I, I don't know if that was a question. It was kind of me right now. Um, I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, welcome. I wish you the best of luck in your blonde bimbo summer. <laughs> Cheers. Hi, Alex. Hi. Gosh, I'm a little nervous. It's my first time asking an actor a question, so. We're just people. I know. Mentally you think that, but, but it manifests to that. But uh, my question was, the first one really taken about revenge on Jensen and Jared, but the next one I have is, um, it's at the end of Supernatural when uh, Dean was talking to Bobby and Bobby kind of basically implied that Jack did 
that the exact thing I want him to do was to bring Cass back. So if the implications are true, what do you think those two are doing together? Mm. I hope relaxing. Um, I've I always really wanted them to go to Hawaii. I think that'd be fantastic. Maybe Jack's learning to surf. I don't know. Um, yeah, something peaceful is all I can say. Okay, maybe something fun, you know? Go karting, sure. Hi. Hello, I'm Maddie. This is my first con as well. This is starting to feel like AA. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maddie. Uh, Hi, I'm Maddie. Maddie. <laughs> oh, God. Different type of convention. Very um, different kind of convention. <laughs> you know what? Maybe probably a little less fun than this one. Yeah. Are you guys still good? Fun? Yeah. Not like AA. Yay. <laughs> my question is, this has been burning in my head since I saw the first episode that you were in. Was Jack born like a child, like a baby, and grow super fast? Or was he born like a full grown man? I... <laughs> I thought he, <laughs> again, I thought he came out, I kind of had a similar question, because that's, that's pretty fair, right? I'm like, are there earlier Jacks? Did he like, kind of like, like, you know? But, According to what I know, he came out fully this large. Listen, there's a reason my mother didn't survive, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, God, that poor woman, eh? She, she gave me the miracle of life and paid the price for it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that would have not been a C-section. That would have been like a C C C C C section. No, I'm I'm sorry, mom. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shout out to all the moms out there giving us life. We're very sorry. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Hi. Um, it is a lot of people, I know. But I, so Psych is my favorite show, so I wanted to ask you about that. Okay. Um, and because like, you're like totally precious in that, but you're still precious now. Um, a lot older now. Yes. Yeah, Slightly less precious, I think. Whatever. But, uh, <laughs> so, I just wanted, wanted to know if there were like, any favorite moments you had shooting that, or if it was fun, or if it was not very fun being Oh, no, no, it was, it was fun. It's fun to cheat, you know? Uh, you guys should do something illegal in your life. It really gives you a rush, you know? Shout out Ezra. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, he's right behind me. Um, I know, it's very serious. He's probably struggling with a lot of issues, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna have our time recovered from that. <laughs> what was your question? I got so distracted. I was just asking if you had like a favorite moment while you were working. Oh, this yeah, I mean, it was just really fun. The, the problem for me, I don't know if you guys have seen this like episode, I previously had made a, an 80s breakdance movie and they <laughs> chopped my hair and I looked like a mushroom. Now I'm gonna so go think at this point, I'm also like 15 years old. I'm in high school there and I have to go to school with that haircut. There's a reason I was in no relationships. I blame the haircut and insecurity. But, uh, no, it was really fun. Uh, what was really funny though is the first time I met Timothy was he actually remembered me. He remembered me being on, he's like, hey, uh, he's like, were you on psych? I was like, yeah, and he's like, he's like, were you in the Spelly Bee episode? He actually remembered, which is crazy. So, awesome. sweet guy. Hey, that was fun. Hello. Hi. Um, so, I have more of like a serious question. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> um, so, I'm currently going to 
film school, um, and I'm aspiring to be a director. Um, so I was kind of wondering. Hire me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was kind of wondering, like, uh, if you'd be willing to share kind of like your best um, and worst directing experience, or uh, some advice you might have for working with actors and directing. And stuff. <laughs> Oh, uh, well listen, this is probably a better question for Richard Spaeth. Um, I've never directed anything, so... Sorry, I meant it more like your best experience with directors. Right, yeah. I'd still say, ask Richard Spaeth. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be a collaborative process, right? So, I know, this is not an exciting answer. Uh, but yeah, working with a, a director who listens to you and is willing to collaborate with you on a scene, kind of makes you feel like, you know, you're part of a team and like you're headed in the same direction. So that's really important. Um, also, yeah, finding the little, the little magic of the scene, right? There's a reason each scene is in the script and getting that across is, is really important. Also having a clear vision. There's nothing worse when a director doesn't know what they want. Because then for the actor, you're like, how do, we, how do we make you happy? How do we, you know, make this scene work? So have a clear idea of what you're doing and know how you're going to edit. That's what I think is important too. Some of the best directors are really good editors. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't worry, guys. There's a dick joke coming. There's not. Hello. Hi. There could be. Uh, so first, I wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed the character that you created. And Jack was really brought on so late and it was really challenging to work so seamlessly into the cast and it was so endearing so quickly that it was uh, very cool. Thank you very much. Um, and the other question I had was, so Jack's character constantly evolved throughout the show so fast. He had, you know, first he comes on, he's evil. Came right out of the womb, he's ready evil, to rock. He's good, his mom, he burned the lady alive, you know, you're like, who is this guy? And then, um, soul, you're like, but he's still kind of good. And then he dies, and comes back as a demon. So basically, all of this evolution of who the character was all the time. How challenging was it to kind of change so quickly and jump ship so fast? <laughs> um, it was just, I don't know. Challenging might be the wrong word, because it's like, for me, that's just an opportunity. Uh, an opportunity for fun. Uh, I was, I had so much fun working. Uh, I had so much fun working on the show, and I had so much fun being Jack. So for me, the crazy ups and downs are just, I was just like, oh, that's an opportunity for me, right? You can look at an obstacle in two ways, right? Oh God, what? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. That scared me. Yeah, it's, it, was, it was just... Ezra? Uh, the old Ezra jokes. I don't know, I'm, yeah, I'm having a good time. Uh, <laughs> DC, thank you very much. Wait, did you finish answering your question? What? Did you finish answering the question? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you have a crush on him as much as I do. He's a guy. He's a guy. This room has never been so full. And they like us, but this can't just be for us. Um, now that I have you all here, Lot Swain's playing a gig tomorrow in Virginia, a couple hours south of here. If you go to the heist, bg.com slash merch, there's tickets there. Alexander Calvert might be there, but he won't be there. But he could, but he's not. Ladies and gentlemen, the boys will come out on stage if they hear you 